let us come back the next topic of enthalpy of atomization what is atomization separating into a atom free atoms it is called as a atomization separated into free atoms not a tight atoms or a packed atoms we are supposed to be we are making that the atoms to be a comes to out in a free state so definition is one mole of substance is dissociated completely into atoms so one mole of substance is dissociated completely dissociated to atoms complete dissociation under standard temperature and pressure at stp so for example of cl2 we will take cl2 gas give cl that is half cl2 two half comes to one atom so it becomes atom it releases the i mean the energy is endothermic process that is plus 123 kilojoule per mole that i mean delta h not value that is called h is called enthalpy heat that is called enthalpy of atomization the transition elements have very high effective nuclear charge so large number of valence electrons are maybe in a unpaired electrons so they form a very strong metallic bonds so if it is a strong metallic bond the enthalpy of heat energy is very very much high so what a high enthalpy of atomization is required so this is the key point generally greater number of unpaired electrons greater the number of bonds greater number of unpaired electron greater the number of bonds so many bonds are there means we required a lot of energy to break each bond so what it is so the ionization and i mean the enthalpy of atomization would be great this is a key point of view so next we will see the number of unpaired electrons so this is so uh, important for a one mark mcq no you don't have mcq in no, ncrt but the uh, nc neat classes they will uh, need uh, exams they will ask you this type of question which uh, one has a maximum number of unpaired electron in a first transition series or a second transition series this is second transition series i have t taken molybdenum alone so first transition series chromium is a maximum so you just see this scandium one titanium two we should see only d block d orbital only supposed to see two electrons and vanadium three electrons and chromium has a six and this everything is single 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 electron so manganese have five and iron has four gold three nickel two and zinc one so i mean copper one zinc is zero only so what when you see this number of unpaired electron is more it is very strong but up to magnus it is maximum metallic character but beyond magnus the oxidation status i mean the number of electrons is decreases so that is zinc has zero so what it is very soft metal but rather than this all these elements they are very hard metals only zinc is a very soft metal because there is no bond at all if the number of uh, electron unpaired electron is more greater number of bond so here the number of uh, electron is unpaired electron is zero so there is no bond at all so it is very soft metal so here when you compare to iron uh, we can say it is very hard but but we are adding the carbon to the iron for a uh, strengthening so what not getting very simple ion no? so what when you compare to chromium magnus it is soft only because having the lesser number of bonds in periodic table chromium molybdenum as a maximum number of electrons so from left to right number of electrons so increases from 1 to 6 then it is a started to decreases to zero in transition because absence of unpaired electron in zinc it is a soft metal then in 3d from 3d 4d chromium and molybdenum have maximum number of electrons so they were very hard metal they have maximum enthalpy of atomization so atomization means make the atoms into free it requires heat energy is more so what uh, it is high enthalpy of atomization or we can write maximum enthalpy of atomization note been i have given to you these note whenever i write nb it is called note been important points so what number of valence electron is more the number of unpaired electron is electron so hence they have a very strong metallic bond metallic bonds are stronger what happens the higher the enthalpy of atomization and higher the enthalpy is called h that is called a for atomization so in middle series have maximum number of unpaired electron middle series have a higher enthalpy of atomization 
Next, we'll pass on to our questions. Why do metals of second and third series have greater enthalpy of water? I mean, these are the NCRT question only. You just take the book and see the textbook exercises. So why do metals of second and third series have greater enthalpy of atomization than first series? So here are second, first second series, third series, and then first series. Second series are larger in size. Valence electrons are not strongly bonded with the nucleus, have greater tendency to form a metal-metal bonding is increases. So delta H naught also increases. But in the first series, it is a less when we compare to 4D and 3D when 4D series and the um, 5D series because metal metal bonding is very less due to small size strongly bonded with the nucleus not free with the metal metal bonding so for uh, this is called a 3D series so and 4D series and a 5D series is example zinc cadmium mercury are not hard why already i told you it is completely filled the orbitals else at not having the unpaired electrons so and transition metals of elements having more number of unpaired electrons so what only that the zero unpaired electrons will have a very soft one and not a hard one no possibility and to take part the formation of metallic bond they are very soft for example for zinc 126 kilojoule per mole it has a stable electronic configuration you should write an exam these are the key points no stable electronic configuration, no metal-metal bonding is observed, so it has a very least enthalpy of atomization at STP, not for STP. Thanks for watching, students.